What's up, Bears fans? Welcome to another edition of My Two Cents with Zach Pearson. I'm your host, Zach Pearson, the poster of the Bear Report. Just got done with Bears Family Fest at Soldier Field, and Ryan Poles and Matty Rafus talked after the practice. I got done about an hour ago, and obviously the big storyline is Roquan Smith. On Tuesday morning, Roquan Smith released a statement saying that he has officially requested a trade by the Chicago Bears. He does not feel respected in terms of the contract that the Bears have offered him for a long-term extension. Now, Smith did say he wants to remain a Bear and did not rule out um, returning and getting extension done, but it's clear he's not happy. He wants to be paid as not only one of the highest off-ball linebackers, one of the highest paid defensive players in the NFL. Ryan Poles met the media right after practice, says he still values Roquan Smith, his feelings have not changed, and he feels like he offered him a good deal that was even record-setting in some ways, um, with the initial report from Ian Rappaport saying that there was de-escalators in the contract and that the deal wasn't for Roquan Smith's, um, you know, his liking as of now. So that's a situation to monitor moving forward. Ryan Poles did not rule out trading Roquan Smith, but does sound like he wants to get a deal done. We've seen this with players like Debo Samuel and DK Metcalf. It is a leverage move by Roquan Smith. He's putting it out to the media, hoping that he can get a long-term deal done. His first practice today... Well, sloppy from the offense overall, especially the first team in the pass game. Um, Justin Fields and the offense kind of struggled to move the ball. They did have a nice two-minute drill at the end, although the drill stalled when time was running out and Fields threw an incomplete pass to tight end Chase Allen in the end zone. Chicago's without a lot of their top wide receivers, Valus Jones, Brian Pringle, um, Nikhil Harry, all not practicing. And then David Moore during drills also went down. So um, a, a lot of injuries at the wide receiver spot. One good bright spot for the offense, though, the run game. David Montgomery and Khalil Herbert both rallied off big chunks on long runs. And that was due to a lot of the blocking on the offensive line. Sam Mustafer, Michael Schofield all got reps there with good blocking to kind of free them. But overall, the offense is, is still struggling with the pass game. And I wonder how much of, of it is where they're at with the progressions and how much is it just the injuries that they have right now because there's a lot of guys sitting out at the wide receiver position. Uh, defensively, I saw a lot of the defenders in the backfield. Guys like Robert Quinn, Justin Jones, Dominique Robinson all got in for sacks. In the secondary, they were playing strong as well, despite being without Kyler Gordon. Players like Jalen Johnson and Eddie Jackson made nice plays. Quan Brisker had a nice PBU back there. So overall, the defense is uh, starting to kind of take shape, although they are missing Roquan Smith in the middle. The Bears return to practice on Wednesday at Hallis Hall. They'll have another practice on Thursday before their first preseason game of the year against the Kansas City Chiefs right here. Well, not behind me, but in front of me at Soldier Field. Make sure to check back with the Bear Report and myself on this YouTube channel for a new edition of My Two Cents in the coming days. Thanks.